Welcome back class. This lecture will be a very brief overview of the midterm exam. It will cover the first eight chapters that we have covered throughout this semester. And what I suggest that you do is that you review your homework assignments as the concepts in this midterm will be very similar to those that were requested from you in those homework assignments. I have included 20 questions in this exam. It is worth 200 points, and it is due by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday, November 1st. Notice that you have one attempt. This means that once you submit, you finish and submit the exam, that's it. You cannot go back and attempt, attempt to complete the exam again. You only have one try, but the midterm is not timed. So what that means is that you can start the midterm today, save your work, and come back at another day and continue the exam as long as you complete and submit by the November 1st deadline at 11.59 p.m. That being said, please do not stress about the midterm. You have plenty of time to work on this little by little. It is not timed, so you don't have to stress that you have to complete 20 problems within an hour or two. That is not the case for this midterm. So if you know you have a few hours throughout the week um, that you can work on this exam, please take advantage of that. You have access to your book. This is an online exam. So there is uh, no reason for you to stress. Just try your best. Like I said, if you review your homework, you should be uh, more than okay in this midterm. What you're gonna do is click on Start. This is your view. This is what you will see on your end. And like I said, it will cover eight chapters. So what I have done is I have chosen a few, chap a few problems from each of the chapters in order to test your knowledge on the various concepts that we have covered so far. So for questions one through five, those questions will be from chapter one and they are in a true or false setting. So make sure that you read the content in chapter one in order for you to determine if the questions numbers one through five are either true or false. Notice that you have an, a save and exit button on the upper right hand corner. That is where you can click in order to save your progress of this midterm before you submit. The submit button is right on the right of that button. Make sure that the submit button is only submitted, is only pushed once you complete the entire exam. Okay, because remember you have one attempt. Once you click that submit button, you cannot access the exam to try again. So like I said, chapter, I mean, questions one through five is from chapter one. And starting with questions six through nine is going to be uh, concepts from chapter two. In chapter two, I'm going to be testing you on three things. Analyzing business transactions in tabular form, which is this problem right here is gonna give you a scenario with 11 different transactions. And your task is to um, record those transactions using the tabular form method, which is right here in this table. Notice that the problem here has two tabs. When that is the case, that means you have to complete this part of the problem and then you can click here to give you the second half of that problem. Another way that you can do it is from the bottom here. You could click Analyze to go to the next one, and then click Accounting Equation to go back to the first part of the problem. Make sure that you complete both parts when you see these tabs in order for you to um, attempt and getting full credit for the question. Once you finish with that question, you could click next. Chapter, uh, I mean, question number seven will ask you concepts in, term of, in terms of financial statements, which is the second concept that will be in the test. 
And so you will be given information about a particular business and your task is to complete the income statement. Notice that you have the tabs here. In this case, you have three. So you have to complete the income statement, the statement of owner's equity, and the balance sheet. Again, you can click on them just as I'm showing you here through the tabs, or you can click it from the bottom to go to the next one and toggle back and forth between these tabs using the bottom button buttons. So once you're done with that, go on to the next question, which is number eight. And number eight is asking you to um, figure out amounts using the accounting equation, which is assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. And the last question, which is number nine for chapter two, is asking you to complete some missing information based on that same accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity. Question number 10 will be covering concepts in chapter three, which are the T accounts and the trial balance. So again, you will be given a scenario. You will be given uh, a few of the uh, transactions, and your job is to post those transactions in um, using the appropriate T accounts. So if you don't remember how to do that, make sure you review chapter three. And again, there's two parts to this. So the first one is to post the above transactions into the appropriate T account. And the second part is to complete or prepare a trial balance based on that information as well. This is the only problem from chapter three. Questions number 11 through 13 will cover chapter four concepts, which are general journals and the general ledger. So for uh, question 11, you will have, again, a scenario with some transactions. And your job is to um, make sure you complete the workshop, the worksheets uh, for the general uh, journal. And this one looks a little different. It's actually putting it together in pieces for you so you don't get that confused. So what you need, what you need to do here is make sure you complete all of the seven transactions here. And it's seven because you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven transactions as part of the scenario is transactions A through G. So for number one is going to ask you, is going to repeat the scenario here for transaction A. The owner invested $27,800 in cash into the business. So it is repeated here and you are to uh, journalize this into the general jur uh, ge general journal. So it is giving you transaction A and you got to fill out the information whether it's a debit or a credit. Again, review chapter four if you um, need to refresh your memory uh, with these concepts. Once you're done with that, you click on two and continue to do the same thing for transaction B. Three is for transaction C. 4 is for transaction D, 5 is for transaction E, 6 is for transaction F, and 7 for transaction G. Okay, going on to question number 12. It is going to ask you to prepare journal entries based on the above transactions. So it's similar to the previous problem. In this case, you only have five of them into the worksheet. So make sure you complete those by clicking again in the tab in the tabs above and then move on to question 13. Question 13 is going to ask you about the general ledger so make sure that you read the scenario and it's asking you to prepare the journal entries to co to record the transactions and then also posting them into the general ledger. So there's going to be two um, tabs here, and within each tab, it is separated by the number of transactions here, 1 through 13. Okay? 
So as you can see, there's a lot of problems in this midterm. But again, it's not timed, so give yourself the appropriate time to complete this midterm exam. You don't have to complete it within one, two, or three hours as in other courses. And then make sure you click on the tab for ledger accounts so that you can complete the general ledger there. So questions number 14 and 15 will be for chapter 5, which are adjustments in the worksheet. So you will be asked to adjust the entries based on the scenarios here. You have three of them. So make sure that you click on each one. It's repeated here again based on each of the uh, transactions and make sure that you adjust them accordingly. For question number 15, it is going to ask you to complete the worksheet through the adjusted trial balance section. So if you don't remember how to do that, make sure you review chapter 5. For uh, 16, that is going to start concepts on chapter 6. And chapter 6 talks about closing entries and also the post-closing trial balance. So I will be asking you two questions from chapter 6. That will be 16 and question 17. So question 16 is giving you a scenario again and is asking you to prepare the closing entries accordingly. So make sure that you... Um, and it's actually separated by four steps. Remember, closing the entries requires four steps, and it's separated, separated here so that you know um, when you have completed the closing process. For 17, it's asking you also to uh, prepare the closing entries and then also to. Um, post the closing entries to the owner's capital account and to prepare a post-closing trial balance. So again, this is going to be based on these uh, on four you uh, process and four steps of the process to close the entries um, for the general journal and then you go on to the general ledger and finally you will post the post-closing trial balance. So this is a three part problem. For chapter 7, you will have two questions, which are questions 18 and 19. And for chapter 7, you learned about posting transactions for sales, accounts receivables, and cash receipts. So make sure that you read that and you um, uh, journalize those accordingly. And it's given to you into three steps based on these three scenarios that happen on the dates of May 1st, May 15th, and May 31st. And number 19 is, let's see, it's loading. Also to record the transactions for April 1st and April 10th. So make sure you click on one and two to do so and uh, post those transactions there. And then the last question is number 20, which is for chapter eight. And chapter eight is about purchases, accounts payables, and cash payments. So chapter seven is about sales. Chapter eight is about purchases. It is the same uh, type of concepts, ex except that you are either selling or purchasing. So for, um, Question number 20 is only one question for chapter 8, and it's asking you to also journalize the entries uh, for those transactions, which are six of them. Okay? And that is the exam. Make sure that you click Submit once you are done with the exam. Review it before you submit it. Make sure that you study your homework assignments. Make sure that you... Um, uh, use your textbook. There's no reason why I should see um, uh, trouble here based on your uh, scores because you have all of the tools 
at the tip of your hand. So you just have to use those tools and utilize your time so that you can complete this exam to the best of your ability. So take your time. You have between now and Wednesday, November 1st by 1159. Remember, you have one attempt, one attempt only. So make sure that when you start your exam and you need to stop and come back at a later time to click the save and exit button. And then once you feel confident that you're your best work has been entered into this exam, then you click submit. Remember that that is prior to the deadline. If you fail to submit this by the deadline, it will just take what you have done so far and it will assign and submit the grades automatically. I don't want you to do that. Make sure that you um, take the time to do your best and earn as many points as possible. If I can help you with any questions or you run into any issues, please feel free to contact me. As always, I'm available to help you. That is my role, is to help you succeed. So I wish you the best of luck. Do not stress. Try your best and you will do great. Good luck to you. Thank you for your time.